with cases hitting an all-time high, the market rallied. And it didn't just rally, it had an offensive rally with rotation into the Dow, which experienced its biggest rally in over two weeks. This is coming off of record COVID cases and many states reversing lockdowns, pausing lockdowns, lots of rising concerns about COVID. But the market didn't seem to react. Why? Because yesterday the case count came down a little bit. Wasn't a new all-time high yesterday. Wasn't a new all-time high today. But I have a particular reason for that. It seems like, and we can go back into the data, Sunday is a slow day for COVID. So that explains today. Saturday looks like it's slightly less busy for COVID. The days really matter in the weekday, and you can't judge anything off of one particular day. It has to be, you know, three days or a week. So we need to give it a couple days to see what's happening. I don't think that is the top. I think we're going into a new trend upward that is similar to the initial trend upward. And I believe this because if you look at the 1918 pandemic, you could see an initial spike, an initial spike just like we had, and then a decrease just like we had, and then a second spike that was significantly higher than the first spike that preceded a calm down and then a third kind of one that's parallel to the first one. Now, I absolutely want to avoid a second spike. And I'm not necessarily saying that we're going to have a massive second spike. But we're having a second spike bigger than the first spike we had. And I can't ignore that fact. It is a fact. Another thing that has me concerned is closings. When we got to like a thousand cases in New York, we closed down New York. When we got to 5,000 cases in Texas, nothing happened. Restaurants are still open. It looks like they're starting to do something with restaurants and bars. But there's a point at which the outbreak is strong enough that it's gonna keep spreading. And it looks like that's happening. And it looks like we're doing it way later than we did it the first time, which has me believing that the second spike is gonna be, I don't wanna say way bigger, because I don't know how big it's gonna get, but bigger than the first one. And that should not come as a newsflash because it already is. But the thing is that has me questioning reality, why is the Dow rallying more than 2% today which is the combination of the most cyclical stocks. And I understand Boeing is the main reason for that. And the 737 doing its test flight today. Good news, should be good for Boeing, heavily weighted in the Dow. I get it, but it's leading. This was a rotation. We've talked about this rotation into the NASDAQ, out of the Dow. This was a rotation out of the NASDAQ, into the Dow. So I don't like that. I think it's the wrong time for that. I think cases might continue to rise and we are deserving of a little bit further pullback. Um, I don't know where that floor is gonna be. I'm trying to figure that out. But I do have an optimistic side. I'm not coming here saying COVID cases are rising, panic, you know, sell, uh, America's blown up. No, I was selling last week, okay? That first sell off day, I was taking everything I would need to take off, you know, Friday before that I was selling, Monday, Tuesday before that I was selling, and then Wednesday sell-off came around, I sold everything I needed to sell, and then now I'm just sitting on cash. Today I nibbled a little bit. Tomorrow, we'll see what happens, may or may not nibble. What I'm going to be doing as the sell-off continues and reaches a point where it just kind of continues to continue is I'm going to be nibbling. I'm going to be increasing my stock allocation and decreasing my cash allocation. I'm still bullish long run America. I still think there's a lot of cash on the sidelines that will increase demand for that cash to have a home and increase demand for stocks. I'm aware of all the stimulus that is happening that will pump money into the system that will find its home in stocks and other investments. 
So the stock market is where I want to be. It's where I want to park my money. But I'm an active manager. I manage based on what's happening. And the way I see it right now, or did see it a couple days ago, is the risk-reward premium isn't ideal in the new money flow favor. So if you're buying, your potential upside is very little, but the amount of risk you're taking is very big. The risk-reward doesn't match up. I want little risk and a lot of potential. It's the opposite right now. So I'm keeping my cash on the sidelines. I am nibbling at small opportunities I see here and there, just a light nibble. I didn't sell 100%. I sold 70%. And I'm going to be adding to stuff as it starts to sell. And I'm going to be nibbling on the way down. So I don't know how low things are going to get. I just don't. I might be wrong. Maybe we'll just continue. Maybe we've hit the high of COVID cases. All of that. But in the meantime, I'm sitting pretty, watching the market do its thing, and expecting a little bit more pullback. And once I see that, I'm going to start nibbling, start nibbling, start nibbling, start nibbling, start nibbling. So you'll know, you'll, you'll, you'll understand what I'm doing. I will let you know what I'm nibbling. So until then, tomorrow. Peace.